Today's review is on the Family Guy Peter's Def Jam episode. Peter Quagmire Cleveland Joe decide to do a podcast. The first time it doesn't work out due to Cleveland telling random stories. They try it the second time, but when they talk about kids being killed, Peter then has problems with running the laptop, resulting in a music mix where the four of them DJ at a club. A club owner encourages Peter to branch out on his own at a festival, and of course, Peter dumps his friends. I like how Peter randomly says after the owner mentions about him doing cocaine, he says, my kid's baseball team came in second place, as the club owner doesn't care. Yeah, Peter, what does Chris's baseball team have to do with you being a talented DJ? He obviously figured he could say whatever he wants since the owner said he was on cocaine and that he possibly would have cared, but he didn't. Anyways, Peter, you have a gift. Or as the way Peter said it, Huh, I guess I do have a gift. Yeah, you have a gift, all right. You have a gift at being fat. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Peter also wanted to kiss the club owner because someone gave him a pill and started filling on the club owner's jacket. As the owner tries to walk away, Peter gra grabs him back with his eyes all big, saying, No, 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 stay here. Stay here. In the next scene, Meg arrives at the table with a new hairdo. Meg's new hairdo makes you think of her as Ron, the transgender form of Meg as a guy. Lois sneezes and has a stuffy nose. Chris assumes she's sneezing a lot because she could be allergic to Brian. Brian responds to Chris telling him to mind his own beeswax. Lois actually read something about people being allergic to their pets, so Lois suggests Brian should stay out of Peter and Lois's room for a while. Brian asks Lois where will he sleep. Chris angrily suggests Brian should live in his own apartment like a grown-up. Then Brian squints his eyes as he looks at Chris saying, Do you have a problem with me, Chris? <laughs> I loved it. I laughed so much when he said that. Yes, Chris, do you have a problem with Brian? First, you assume Brian is responsible for Lois sneezing, then angrily tell him to live in his own apartment like a grown-up? Whatever is up, Chris's fat ass needs to come out. Brian, get Chris. Go on him. Brian ends up in Stewie's room. They become roommates. The next morning, Lois wakes Peter since he didn't hear his alarm go off because apparently he goes deaf. He can't hear Lois. Chris comes in their room saying something to Peter. All of a sudden, Meg shows up on fire as Lois wraps a towel over her head. Then Lois stomps her foot on, on Meg's head. Jeez, Lois, I understand you were trying to get the fire out, but you mean to tell me the Griffin family doesn't have a fire extinguisher? Or could have gotten a bucket of cold water pouring on Meg. You would think Meg knows how to stop, drop, and roll. Oh, wait, I forgot. It's Meg. Bad things always happen to her nowadays on Family Guy. Peter realizes he's gone deaf when he couldn't hear himself watching Garfield. I like when Lois asked about Peter's hearing. Dr. Hartman says this is a hospital since he's not a lawyer. Followed by him also saying... I've got the results back. He's deaf. Well, no duh, Dr. Hartman. Nothing gets past you, does it? Peter tries to get his pals back to DJ with him. Peter gives Joe some snacks to spell out the letters to communicate with Peter. Apparently, there aren't any letter L's. Peter goes, By the way, I ate all the L's. They were delicious. They're my favorites. Quagmire sends him a text message for Peter to see. Um... Quagmire, have you quickly forgotten that Peter has gone deaf? So why send him a text message when you know he's not going to hear anything? All you had to do was text and show it from your phone. Either way, Peter doesn't get his pals back. Brian and Stewie, being roommates, starts to go downhill when Brian has a friend over named Georgie as he listens to jazz music. Stewie gets a ferret to hopefully get rid of Brian. Things get heated to the point Brian pushes Stewie and said he just pushed a little bitch baby. Oh, 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 he got you, Stewie. You know very well Stewie was mad as hell, his eyes squinting. 
As they slap fight, Lois tells Brian he can come back and sleep in her and Peter's room. It turns out Lois was sneezing due to Peter stuffing hay in their pillows because he thought it looked comfortable in cartoons. Peter stuffed hay in their pillows because he thought it would look comfortable in the animation world he lives in? Okay, that was funny. <laughs> Everything is good with Brian and Stewie. Then the ferret attacks Stewie, bit his nose, and Stewie tells Brian to fill the tub, fill the tub. Peter talks to Stella, the deaf woman. Quagmire thinks is hot. I think she's hot too. Peter rather be on the Disney cruise than be deaf. There's a cutaway of Mickey Mouse running to the bathroom. Oh, oh, don't eat the shrimp. Oh. Then there was the one cutaway of Peter and his pals bird watching. But they're not watching actual birds. They're watching NBA legend of the Boston Celtics, Larry Bird. Since his last name is Bird, and they say bird watching, yeah. Uh, the other colorway, when Stewie mentions about a roommate he had before, Brian, he wakes up one night. I love his reaction when he goes, what the? <laughs> and it's Peter right next to Stewie in his crib. As Peter hides from Lois because he doesn't want to wash his hands after he drops a deuce. Peter puts his finger on Stewie's mouth, telling him to shh, I won't. Peter, you are nasty. You better wash your hands. And then lastly, the guys rob a bank wearing mask of presidents. Cleveland blew their cover when mentioning his name, so they have to kill them. Joe planned on killing the one guy first because the one guy said he should have been Franklin D. Roosevelt. Franklin D. Roosevelt was known for being in a wheelchair. And obviously, Joe was very sensitive about that. Just because I'm in a wheelchair doesn't mean I should be Franklin D. Roosevelt automatically. So because of that, he was like, oh yeah, you're getting it first. <laughs> that was pretty funny. And that was pretty messed up for Lois to say that Peter shouldn't DJ because he's middle-aged. So you're telling me somebody that's middle-aged can't DJ? Girl, if you don't go back to that kitchen where you came from, Lois got some nerve. Peter's pals overheard what he said at work when he was talking to Stella. So everything is fine, and they get back together, and they go to the festival. But when Peter accidentally presses a button for them to play the right music mix, it pretty much failed, and Peter's gift didn't come true. And apparently the reason why Peter was deaf was due to the fact that he had Oxycontin in his ears. It wasn't due to the fact that he was playing the loud music. So this has been my review on Family Guy's Peter's Def Jam episode. I thought it was a pretty good episode. It was funny. Tell me your thoughts on the episode itself. I plan on hopefully getting a lot of videos done and out the way for the rest of this week and next week because next week I'm on my midwinter break so I don't go back to school in the next two weeks and I'm sure you guys are probably starting on your midwinter break as well uh, so, uh, some of you probably didn't have to go to school as it was President's Day but I had to go to school because I'm in college it's not like I'm in high school or elementary and middle school anymore obviously but anyways that's it See you later.